new album is called uh, Great Escape. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, yeah, I think it's a good album. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I we don't, so. we, you know, it's it's a weird though. You know, when we, you record an album, usually I spend a lot of time then not listening to it because I go through the the whole process of writing and demoing, pre-production, and then recording, and you hear it so many times, and then the mix. Um, I think this album is the first time I actually listened to it a few times after it's been recorded. So we're really excited about it, and uh, I think it's going down all right. I think. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It's it's difficult. It's difficult to speak some, about something that's um, that means so much. I think it's again. It's 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 an album that is quite rare. You know, you, we, we've recorded so many albums now, and some of them mean something, and they represent a kind of moment in time, whether it's personally or for the band or whatever. Um, but then something will come along and it will mean more than that, you know. Mm. And it's quite a personal album. So it's kind of difficult to talk about it in that respect, you know. I mean, we can sit here as, as musicians in a band touring, doing the PR and everything, and yeah, you know, oh yeah, we're really excited, <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. But it means more to us than that. Yeah, I think it's the most important album, actually. That's how I feel. As soon as I heard the demos, I felt it was special. Doing like the vocals for it and lyrics, it just f felt different this time. I can't explain why. It's like the album is not a happy sounding album, but it made me happy working with it. Yeah. Like the whole studio experience was definitely the best I've had with mm -hmm. the band. For me, it works the opposite. If it's sad music, it makes me happy. If it's happy music, it makes me very sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a path, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm left-handed, so are you. Yeah. yeah, there you go, you see. Two Typical psychopath behaviour. Yeah, yeah. You see, the brain, the brain works differently with yes. left-handed yeah. people. Believe us. <laughs> <laughs> and Alan Watts, you know, is about having a, a, a con a, you know, being conscious, you know, uh, and there's three voices on him, and the two voices are the same guy, a guy called Alan Watts, and he's a philosopher, and he gives, he used to give seminars, but when he speaks about society and the fact that you don't have to conform to, to the way things are, you don't have to follow everyone else, and like he says in the sample, you know, that you can be part of the rat race and you can work and work and work and then, you know, but it won't make you happy. And if it doesn't make you happy, there's nothing wrong with finding your own path. We're bred to believe that you go to school and then you go to college and then you have to get the best paid job and then you have to get married, then you have to have kids, and then you've got to work for a pension, and then you retire, then what? You know, and it's, your life's gone, you know. There's a certain kind of peop people now, especially in this, mo in this age that we're in. And especially in, well, I can speak in the UK, it's very, very difficult. And, you, and we are, as by default, outcasts. So we live a life completely out of, out of the sort of mainstream. So that, what he says really resonates. And the whole thing with the album, The Great Escape, it works on like different levels. So, I mean, you could look at it as like a really personal thing. Um, so you like you know you want you really want to fight, escape your own demons you know uh, you want an end to any kind of suffering you're going through but then there's the you know we we talk about you know, saving animals you know we, we want them to escape the cruelty that they endure through human hands um, and we wish we could help every one of them and we can't and that's you know the song Nebulas where Belinda sings you know she's apologising on behalf of the humans you know and. Uh, and then there's the, the whole worldwide society, you know. We're not like, I mean, some people consider us that we've, we're political, but we're, we're not political, you know. And we don't, we don't preach to anyone. And the way I see it, it's more just having a social conscience. So the, the escape, you know, the whole thing, escapism, music's great escapism. So. And then the other voice on the intro is Bruce Dern from the film Silent Running who just comments on the state of the earth, theoretically, in the future. I 
I think we should just live life and not be so worried what people think and like you said just be like like consciousness about how things work and just like be positive and be mellow no war you know all that it's just like this is a beautiful place to live at we could live in peace and just people don't have to tell us how we should act or that's that's my personal belief we're just basically vigilantes you know we just we're doing our own thing you know <laughs> we can comment on things but we're just basically doing our own thing i think if you can live your life your way and keep your integrity and, and respect others you know then that's happiness you know success is is being happy you know it's not it's not found in in money or fame or anything so, so